Hi there, welcome to my video on how to build mazes in Mazatech for your Thinkific online course. If you are new to this video, you can check out my video up here all about Mazatech and a review of the Mazatech platform and why you can use it to enhance and amplify your Thinkific uh, online learning experience for your students. Uh, so let's get started. I am already logged into my uh, dashboard and I'm going to go over a maze that I built from scratch and then show you how you can continue to add on to this. So let me just give you a little bit of context and backstory as to sort of how to understand building mazes because it can be tricky if you are new to building these kinds of interactions. So you can think of and approach building your maze as kind of like a actual maze. So maze is like a never ending kind of journey uh, that when you get to the finish line, it's exciting because now you've gotten a prize or you've um, uh, gotten some kind of bonus points. So you can kind of structure and build out these mazes in the same way as you would in a real life maze. Um, every kind of journey has kind of steps and you can kind of think about how each checkpoints when you reach milestones, you can add in a little bit of an encouragement, some kind of, uh, you know, video or some kind of like interaction to say, hey, congratulations. So the idea is really that you're kind of building out these kinds of scenarios with different points along the way to sort of reward people and to lead people to the end of the game. It's kind of like a uh, your own kind of monopoly. Uh, so let's just get started. Um, let me just go over a few things uh, before we go over the maze that I built and then show you how you can add on to this maze. It is a little tricky, so just bear in mind that you may want to watch this video a few times just to kind of get comfortable with building mazes. Um, you can also collaborate, um, just so you know, if you know you have a colleague or you want to hire an instructional designer to help you, then you can invite them to collaborate and you can customize the branding. Uh, but for the purposes of this video, I just want to show you how the maze works and how you build it out. So this is my uh, maze on how to build out a maze. Kind of cheesy, but <laughs> um, I just kind of wanted to kind of give something easy and something that everyone could understand. So at the beginning of this maze, I have a start. So let me just kind of move this over here and uh, shrink this a bit. So as you can see, uh, there is a little bit of a start. This is just kind of to let people know, okay, this is a game-based scenario. And join us on this corn maze to discover why mazes are fun, exciting, and great for teaching. And if I wanted to add like an intro video about my maze, I can, you know, add a video with this icon here, or I can add a picture of a maze. Um, I do recommend sort of playing around and testing this out because it can be really interactive and can really impact um, the learning experience for your students. You want to think about like the more that you enhance and really build out the maze, the more rewarding and more joyful and fruitful the learning experience will be for your students. Because if it's kind of very plain and there's not a lot of excitement or images or videos, it's very plain and it's not very exciting, you know. Uh, we are all very busy people and we're excited when learning is fun, there's pictures, there's just stuff that really excites and gets our brain moving. You want to think about this from a very brain-based perspective of what um, excites and what stimulates our brain. So, uh, so I started it with here, um, this uh, start button, and then now I'm going to click save. Um, I can always tweak it later. So let me go through the first maze that I've created. So assuming I'm, my lesson is all about how you build a maze, uh, my first sort of scenario in my game of building a maze to the end of the maze starts here, where I'm going to say, hey, here's the beginning of a scenario, and you can watch this brief video and answer these questions. Now, um, I've kept this kind of simple so that, you know, if games, here's a little bit trick. If I, so let's just say I am previewing this as a student. And this is kind of where you want to think through building it. So if I start my scenario and I click on games are fun, but there's nothing to it, then that doesn't really help someone in the learning. So then what I want to do is go back and edit this maze. 
and click on edit. So as you can see, there's lots of different kind of answer choices. And so if I say games are fun, but that's not the right answer, then I would say, well, uh, nice job, um, great work. Uh, if it's, you know, neat looking, I can do the same thing. And then if this, I wanna make this, I'll save this for now and show you how I can like uh, give a warning or like a kind of stop sign if someone's gotten the answer incorrectly. So let me just save this for now. And so as you can see, uh, these two are green. So that means uh, those are correct answers. And then there's nothing here for why not. So let's just say why not let's assume that is not the right answer. Then I wanna customize it so that my students uh, know by creating a new node that that is not the right answer. So I will just click warning that that's not the right answer and say, warning, not quite correct. And review the first videos if that was the case. I didn't spell that right, but that's great. It's just to show you. So I can click on save. And then I'll show you that this, what happens after, if someone clicks on everyone is adding, um, uh, everyone is adding uh, mazes. So what I can do is I can add some more options here. And the idea is that when I add options, like um, um, it's, a, it's trendy to add mazes. Um, and then now you can see it will show up here. Uh, so when someone clicks, just so you know, if someone clicks on everyone is adding games, what happens when I preview it is that it'll walk them through the next scenario. So let's just say everyone is adding games, and then that's what happens now, it moves on to the next scenario. Now, let's just say that you felt like after, if someone got this question accurate, they moved on to the next um, scenario. Now you can modify this so that if someone didn't get the scenario right, um, you can change it to, you know, another warning so that, you know, it's just a sort of feedback loop to encourage your students to keep trying. You can also always modify these by uh, clicking on the edit. So as you can see, everyone is adding games and that's uh, yellow means it's a warning. Green means they were successful. So I can always go back to edit. And then uh, I can change this to add a new choice and say um, mazes have become a thing in online courses. And then what I'll do is save it. And then I want to make this a, because I know that's not the right answer, then I want to add a warning, not just a warning, a sort of say, okay, that was completely a very bad answer, not any bit close, so I'm going to fail you. And so what happens with when you select fail is this is fail, and I can give some context fail, not the right answer at all. And then now that's what's going to happen when they see that instead of being able to continue on to the next scenario, they will get uh, a sort of like stop sign. So as you can see, you can always kind of tweak this back and forth. So that's kind of what I recommend is just to tweak this back and forth and change it from red to blue to yellow to green so that you know how to take your students through the next scenario. So let's just go back and change this just assuming that that um, is not, uh, we want to make this so that the students can go and proceed to the right, uh, to the next scenario. What I want to do is then go back to edit um, and then click on here, click on edit, and then um, this is not the right one. So I want to say that is the right answer. Nice job. Um, I can also uh, say, what I can also do is delete um, no link because what I'm going to do is allow them to continue. And so this is my uh, 
next scenario that I want to show people. So what I'm going to say is assuming uh, mazes have become a thing in online courses, I want to link this um, to how can mazes enhance the learning experience because that's what's going to allow the students to uh, proceed. So now let's go to this next maze. And you see this uh, games are fun. Um, this one needs a note so that students will say that this is a warning. Um, not on the right track. And then you can give it some text. I'm just going to make up something and you can add images. The idea is that uh, it's kind of like a feedback loop. Each uh, answer choice is an opportunity to um, give feedback, to add videos, add images, anything to enhance and help students learn better. So we did that for this one and you can say, um, mazes make uh, learning interactive for only select students. You can say, well, that's not quite accurate anyways and I want to give them a warning. Okay. Mazes are uh, indeed interactive and fun. So I'll just click some text here. And then this, uh, it's trendy to add mazes. So this is where, if this is the end of my lesson on mazes, then I can choose to either um, finish or I can create another scene and link them together so that the journey keeps building. Now, this isn't a completely com uh, filled journey, so it's just a demo. But if this were done, I would just uh, click on the finish node so that my students will know, yay. You did a great job and then add some text. And then let me click save. And some of the cool things I want to show you is that you can add a timer. So if I click on settings, I can add a timer so that each uh, scenario has a time. I can add a penalty and bonus. I can even enable a certificate. And so the, let's just say I want to allow no more than five minutes so then a student um i'll say this has five minutes to complete this entire journey and so the idea really is um so i can keep this kind of wrap up short is that you can really continue to build out your mazes and really make them interactive make them really fun learning journeys and think about each learning journey and each step of the way as an opportunity to teach give feedback and encourage your learners to uh, review anything that they've missed out and um, really keep learning. So I hope that is uh, a great, I hope that helps you uh, in building out your maze. Uh, send me any feedback, leave a comment or question if you wanna know more about building the mazes and look for the next video on how to use an existing PowerPoint to uh, build out your maze. Uh, thanks for watching, subscribe, and let me know how I can help. Thank you again, and I appreciate you uh, for watching.